School districts across the state are expected to submit their fall reopening plans to New York State today, with the governor announcing his final decision on in-person instruction next week. Officials say there are several criteria that will determine whether or not schools can reopen in person, focusing mostly on new COVID-19 case data. Here in Jamestown, Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Kevin Whitaker says in addition to sending his district's reopening plan to the governor, he will be releasing it to the community. The superintendent says there are three scenarios at play for the fall right now. Either everyone returns, everyone uses distance learning, or somewhere in between. Either way, the change in learning environment will be a challenge for some students. Teacher Patrick Smeraldo tells us that no matter what, educators have to look out for the best interest of the kids. If you were to ask me right now, is school going to open? I can't tell you how I'm going to socially distance 500 kids in Washington Middle School. Period. End of story. I think getting back to a rhythm safely, how that happens, I don't know. Um, but I'm optimistic. I'm really optimistic in, you know, just hearing Dr. Whitaker. I just, I just like his approach. Um, I think he's a thinker. Uh, he's not a reactionist. Um, I, we were very fortunate in March when we went out because you mentioned it there was an end date of June. Like we didn't think we were going to be out that long, but all right, we got to, you know, May. We're like, all right, well, school's over in June and we'll just take a deep breath. If we go back unsafe and we have a problem in October and November, what's the next end date? The following June, there is no other date that we can gather our breath. Like we might be out of school for seven or eight months if we don't do this yeah. the right way. Meanwhile, the governor's office announced this morning several local schools will get funding aimed to improve safety and reimagine teaching in the 21st century. Falconer Central, Casadega Valley, Gowanda Central, Panama, and Ripley schools will receive a cut of $2 billion in that funding.